this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so Luis Ortiz, finally him and his team, or him and his team, yeah, they finally came out and uh, sent a, what is this? They, yeah, they were just responding to Deontay Wilder about his uh, recent claims that um, Luis Ortiz was not signed up to VADA. Now, you guys know I've been following this a uh, little going back and forth between Wilder and Ortiz for the last week or so. Um, remember, I came out with a video the other day when I said, uh, yes, I know that the WBC came out with a, a article saying that Jarrell Miller and Luis Ortiz were not on the VADA list, okay? Um, then I also came out, but then I came out with a video pretty much going over everything that Luis Ortiz is saying in this article he said a lot of stuff, man. So I'll just leave the article in the description box. You can read it for yourself because whenever I read these quotes or I read these, uh, you know, um, tweets or these Instagram messages, people as if they come to me like I am not reading it correctly or I'm lying. So what I'll do, the best thing is you click it, you read it, and then you come to your own surmise about it. But everything he's saying in here, I've already said um, him and his team claimed and people are saying, oh, no, that's just his team talking. OK, well, his team again came out and said, well, this is Luis Ortiz said this. He says, I signed up last. Now, this is him responding to um, Wilder saying he wasn't a part of Vada Clean Boxing or uh, Vada. He says, I'll, I'll read this part. He says, uh, I signed up last September when I was notified that all WBC contenders need to be part of their new clean boxing program. I filled out the paperwork and my trainer submitted it to the WBC. He can stop using the excuse to avoid me. I have nothing to hide and do not have to prove any longer to anyone that I am clean. Wilder is nothing but a paper champion who happened to be at the right place at the right time against the right opponent with, most importantly, the right promoter. That's all he is. All right. Now, whether you agree or disagree with everything he said in there about, you know, Wilder being a paper champion, um, I guess that's, you know, I think Wilder's a good fighter. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not going to go all the way in on him like that as far as, you know, trying to rag on him as the the fighter. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, I told you guys that there was something going on with this Luis Ortiz thing. Because if, when you go on Vada's website and you put his name on there, it says he successfully completed Vada. And like I said in the recent video, I wish they would put like a, a like a date or some type of detailed information next to that to let us know, like, when. Does that mean he's just that he is enrolled or does it mean that. He did it for just uh, one fight a while ago, and they still have it on their site, and they haven't updated their site or refreshed their site yet. Because I told you guys, I emailed Vada, and Margaret Goodman emailed me back and said he wasn't a part of the uh, Vada program. That's what she said. Then after that, uh, when I did that, that was the same day all this shit was coming out. This is when Boxing Scene dropped that article um, you know, with the WBC saying that there were certain fighters not signed up to the clean boxing program. And I was telling you guys, you can still be a part of VADA without using a clean boxing program. But then Margaret Goodman said he wasn't enrolled. So it was just like, and then his team came out and said, or his manager said that they emailed all this, uh, his form to VADA clean boxing, all this shit. They did it in September. So I'm glad that his team came out because now it don't make me look like I'm crazy. Because, you know what I mean? People think I'm making videos like I'm crazy trying to make this shit up. But they say a lot of stuff in this article, man. I mean, there's paragraphs of shit that they're saying, quoted from Luis Ortiz and, and you know, him and his people. So um, you guys can read this, man. I'm glad that Luis Ortiz and his team are staying on top of this, that, that they're not shying away. When things come out about them not taking tests or being dirty or any, I'm glad they're not shying away, disappearing on us. I'm glad that they're making statements on, on Twitter, that they're making statements on Instagram. And now they made a statement on probably the biggest or one of the biggest boxing websites, which is Boxing Scene. So, but Deontay Wilder versus Washington is still going to go on. It's a fight that I still want to see. And uh, Washington is one of the guys that I said if 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 Wilder couldn't fight a Park, or he couldn't fight Parker or Luis Ortiz, I would be fine with Washington, um, Jarrell Miller, Dillian White, um, Andrew Ruiz Jr., any of those type of fights. But, um, yeah, you guys give this a list, or you guys give this a read, man. He's talking about a lot of shit in here. What is it? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like six paragraphs of stuff that he's saying in here about, you know, this whole drug issue. Um, let me just skim through one line here. They, they also talk about, um, let me see here. 
Yeah, and I said this in the recent video that I dropped. He says, since Felling, and this is uh, his trainer, I believe it's his trainer. He says, since Felling his last test years ago, Luis has been tested over a dozen times voluntarily and mandatorily in fights. He has made it very clear that he never wants that to happen again. You know what I mean? And so there's a lot of stuff here, man. You guys give this article a read. Just getting it out there. The Washington and Wilder fight's still going on, but when that's over with, whoever wins that fight, Luis Ortiz is taking all the drug tests, man. So until he pops dirty, again, he's already done it, all right? He served his suspension. He served his fine, all right? If he does it again, then obviously that's a brand new story, and we'll go from there. But as of right now, he is fighting as a clean fighter, according to, you know, him taking a voluntary test and mandatory tests and all that, man. So you guys go ahead and read this, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.